Hi, this is a tutorial to explain how to complete a database using OpenOffice Database Wizard, which is also known as OpenOffice Base. Um, it's a free program, so you can download this straight from openoffice.org and um, use this as a stand-in for Microsoft Access, which is usually used for um, database editing and things like that. Um, the first thing that you want to do once you've opened the program is you'll get this window here um, and you'll get option to create a new database or open existing database. Now usually part of a task is to import a text document as, as a database um, into your existing software. So the first thing that you want to do is instead of these two creating an opening we want to connect to an existing database and then select a text file which can be found by scrolling down there. Okay, um, from there when you click next you'll get an option to browse. Uh, what you want to do when you click browse is select the folder in which your text document is. So not the actual file but just the folder. So for example if it's on the desktop, which I'm going to be using this one here, um, I would select Browse and then Desktop. Keep all of this the same, don't change any um, options on there. And then you can just click Finish. You will then get these options, so you don't need to register the database, so you can just select No from there. And um, you can also open the database for editing once you've done that. Those are the only options you really need to change and from there you can click finish and your text document will then be opened as a database file. From here you'll also get the option to save your database so if you want to save it in your folder or on the desktop this is what it will look like here you can rename that to whichever um, file name you'd like. Once you've opened your database you'll get what looks um, similar to this and basically you've got different options so with the text document that you've opened you've got the option to create tables or edit tables queries forms and reports um, what you actually do is import the data in and this is what it looks like now you've imported it so it's basically created columns and um, a database for that data that was previously a text file Okay, so from there you're going to want to know how to create queries and also create reports. Now what's important to remember is that without creating a query you cannot create a report. So it's just really important that you remember if you need to create a report at any point you will need to, need to create a query, query first. So what I've got here um, is a practice task from one of the um, sample tests and we're going to follow just some basic instructions as to how we're going to com complete a query and a report using this task. Uh, so we've done the first part here which is use a database software to import the information. Uh, what we're going to do now is create a query to find those interested in a beginner class for street routines. So when something is in bold it indicates that uh, those are your criteria to use. So we're looking for beginners in street routine classes. So I go back to my database and then I can click on queries. There are several ways to do it. I would suggest um, create the query in design view. If you're familiar with the wizard, then by all means go for that. Okay, so you'll get your list of tables here if you have more than one. Just select the one that you want to use from should be only one open at a time so if you click add and then you can double click the information and it will get inserted down at the bottom here so this is what it's going to going to display for me once i have completed it so
I've just uh, included pretty much everything there just so I can see the information and make sure that I'm um, filtering correctly as well. So you want the ticks here to be clicked on so that everything will be visible um, so you can have full visibility of your um, your query. And then also you want to scroll down here to this criterion row and that's where you put in the criteria. So if you remember it was um, a beginner and a street dance class. So I'm going to go to class style, this column here, and type in street routines. You want to be careful as well with your spelling just to make sure that any spelling mistakes won't filter the data correctly. And then beginner. Okay. If I'm happy with that, which I am, you can then just go up to the top here and run the query. So it's just this button here, click that. And then as you can see, there's only two results in that entire data um, database that contain street routine beginner, class, um, beginner classes yet. Okay. From there, you can save the query. Uh, be sure to save it as well, just then, because you're going to need it to create the report. And at any point, if I just scroll back to the task, it does ask you to paste a screenshot of the design view of the query into the evidence document provided. So, that's the one that you want to go into. Um, screenshot at that point and paste onto your evidence document. Okay, I can close that then once I've created it and saved it. And as you can see, it's it's here, so I know it's been saved. From there, I can then re re report uh, create my report. So you want to use the wizard for this. There's only really one way to use it, and it's quite straightforward. So. If you just click, double click on that. So I've clicked the reports tab and query one. Okay, I'll just go back to the task. Um, the task has asked me here to use the query to, to create a report showing only the title, last name, first name, initial, address one, address two, town, county and postcode. So just going back to the report then, you select the query that you've used, mine was saved as query 1, and then I'm just going to put the fields that I want into this box here that says fields in report, which is basically what's going to be visible on the report. So just the ones that were they were asked for. Okay. Click next, there shouldn't be too many other options that you need to adjust here. You can edit the label fields if you want to, but you don't need to. Um, groupings, you shouldn't need to edit that. Um, sorting, for example, if you were sorting a report by alphabetical order of surname or first name or age or something like that, then you could just select, for example, first name and it would come out in alphabetical order. The next tabs give me an option to edit what it will look like, whether I want it portrait or, or landscape. And how I want it to look as well. So I want a static report, which basically means there shouldn't be anything um, that I want to edit after. Let's give that a second and there you can see it's created my report there and it's also listed it in alphabetical order. At this point you want to screenshot your report and then paste that onto any evidence document or any 
um, evidence that you are sending to your tutor or and then save that and that's basically how you would use open office base to create a report a query and also using design view functions